Double I, double AG girls high school soccer action from the Harvest Field. Guam High Panthers visiting the home field Eagles. Panthers goalie Illyria Putnam here with the save. You've been saved. Hallelujah. Now corner kick by the Panthers. The Guam High header, no bueno. Nice try, but ball out of bounds. Close score, 1-0. Eagles at the half, thanks to a goal by Sabrina Wagan. Panthers now looking to tie, but Eagles goalkeeper Luna Puanco with the deflection for the save. Eagles looking to pad the lead as time winds down. Good ball movement here, girls, for the setup. But it's another save by Illyria Putnam. More saves than a preacher on Sunday morning, I tell you. Last attempt to tie it by the Panthers. Megan Guerrero on the cross, but shot just a little too hard. Eagles go on to win. 1-0. Harvest now 2-6 and six on the season in double I, double AG girls high school soccer. Coco's crossing just around the corner and making a splash already with registration ongoing at Hornet Sporting Goods or online at guamcocoscrossing.com. For more than 25 years now, the Coco's Crossing has treated swimmers and spectators to the beautiful sights of the South in Malesso. As swimmers start from either the Malesso Pier or Coco's Island, depending on which race they decide to swim in. We have the 2.5 mile swim, which is from uh, Coco's Island to Marizzo, you take the ferry over. And then the five mile swim, which is from Marizzo to Coco's and back. And then we have what we call our Neptune division, which is the 2.5 swim. You start with the other swimmers, but you can use fins and snorkels. So it's a really great um, opportunity if you've got a bucket list item you wanna check off and swim. Uh, so we have those three options for everybody. For those joining the crossing for the experience or even to cross something off their bucket list, last year's 2.5 mile swim winner, Tommy Amazu, has some great advice to help you keep cruising. Always have fun. Um, when, you're, when you're nervous, your muscles tighten up and you start sinking, <laughs> which makes you even more tired. So just relax, have fun, um, enjoy the whole race. If you're really competitive, um, just focus uh, your mental maybe sing a song to yourself. Coco's Crossing draws swimmers from around the world, including one elderly gentleman from Japan who backstrokes the five mile race with the Coco's Crossing attracting everyone from those who just want to get their feet wet in a swim race to those who train for the crossing as many of Guam and the world's competitive swimmers come out for the different lengths. And if you're just watching this now and deciding to compete in the crossing, Imazu has some advice on how to maximize your training. More quality than quantity. Um, which means that you do interval trainings, which is maybe go at 80% pace, rest maybe 5 to 10 seconds, just go again, and then keep on doing that. It really helps. Interval training is something really helpful. So if you're down to swim with the fishes, register again at Hornet Sporting Goods. Deadline for regular registration, May 23rd, with same-day registration on May 29th for an extra fee. And remember... You got to rock a swim cap to compete in the Coco's Crossing. The Personal Finance Center Lady Crushers team photo here with the Bud Light Women's Soccer League Spring 2016 Champions Trophy during an award ceremony following the Lady Crushers 5-2 win over the Lady Rovers in the final match of the league playoffs Sunday at the GFA National Training Center. Now the Lady Crushers on an undefeated streak dating back to... Jeez, November 8th, 2015, and week five play of that season's Bud Light Women's Soccer League. Way to go, Lady Crushers. They're also the three-time defending champions of the Women's GFA Cup Tournament. Now, also recognized during the award ceremony, Skylar Blue Johnson, winner of the 2016 Spring Season Golden Boot Award. Now, Johnson scored the most goals of all players in the league this past season. 15 goals in six regular season matches. She's very goal-oriented, I tell you. 